Hey guys, it is Annie and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to do a little like summer slash back to school haul. This was originally just going to be like a back to school haul, but then I thought about how most schools aren't really even like going back to actual school anymore, which is so sad. I can't believe that we're not going to be able to have in-person classes or at least most of us for like six months. That's crazy. Because of that, I decided to do a kind of like late little summer haul. A lot of these clothes you could wear to school too, so either or works. Also, if you see a little um, thing crawling around here, it's my cat. She is just hanging out over here. Um, I just got back from Utah yesterday, so she's been like clingy today. She's been very clingy, haven't you? I'm gonna be doing like a shoe, clothing, and accessory haul. I think the first brand I want to talk about is Ana Luisa. I have a lot to show you guys from Ana Luisa and I also want to tell you guys a little bit about them. Um, right now I'm wearing the Ava set and the Mara Pearl ring. What I like about Ana Luisa is that they have sustainable jewelry at such a low cost. Their jewelry starts at just $39 so there's something for everyone. All their jewelry is made out of 100% recycled gold and sterling silver and their diamonds are actually sustainably lab grown which I thought was crazy to hear about. What's really cool about Ana Luisa is that their goal is to achieve a net zero carbon footprint by the end of 2020 and sustain that for years. Along with all their jewelry being recycled, so is all their packaging. And what was really cool is that their necklaces and the ring I got came in these little like pouches. So I got these two pieces plus the Rebecca necklace. What I like is that with all these pieces, I can wear it with pretty much anything. I mean, this is a little bit more dressy and I like how it can, I can like dress up a simple outfit with this, but I can really wear this ring or that other necklace with pretty much anything. I feel like with what we purchase, whether it be like online or in person, a lot of it is not sustainable. It's not good for the environment. So at least I can like purchase this jewelry and not feel bad about it. And I can feel good that I'm purchasing something that is good for the environment. Another thing that's really cool about Ana Luisa is that all of their inventory changes often. So you can find unique pieces literally whenever you want. If you decide to look on their website for something, you might look one week and then find different pieces the next week. And personally, I think that's really cool because if I go one week and I don't feel like something really fits me, then I can go back a couple weeks later. I don't know, I just kind of like how they change it up so it's not like the same old, same old stuff all the time. So yeah, all of these pieces are very universal. I'm excited because I know I can wear this for years because their jewelry is just very high quality. And not only is it high quality, it's high quality at a low cost, and I like that. Um, so yeah, definitely check Ana Luisa out. Now that I've showed you guys some accessories, I want to show you guys some clothing, and I have a lot here. This is technically a try-on haul, however, I have so many clothes here that I wanted to show you guys, but like, I don't think I'm going to show every clothing item, but I'm going to do my best to show most of them. So I'm going to show you guys everything I got from Paxson first. It's not that much. It's only three things. So the first thing I got was this blouse. The only problem I, with this top is that it makes me look a little bit tenty, but other than that, I think it's really cute. I wore these with my white shorts and it just looked really nice. The next thing I have is this dress. Now this... I thought would look so cute with some white booties or something, but I haven't figured that out yet because I'm kind of weird. I never wear dresses really, so I just kind of bought this when I was going out of town. It's just this simple light blue pastel dress, but at the bottom it has these little like frills. I don't know if frills is the right word. It's like cute casual, you could really wear this anywhere. And then I wanted to show you guys like a bunch of shorts I got because personally, I have a really hard time finding shorts. I don't know about you guys, but like jean shorts are so hard to find. So I thought I'd show you guys these. So this I actually got from PacSun. What I like about them is that they're high waisted and then they have like frills at the bottom, which this might be the proper use of the word frill. I don't think, ow you bitch, my cat just scratched me. I don't think this is a frill. I think this is a frill at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I like it. It also doesn't like, this sounds weird, but like it doesn't ride up my butt that much. I'm kind of weird like that. Like I don't like when people can see my butt in shorts. I don't think it looks good. So this you can't like see your butt cheeks in and I like that personally. The next store I wanted to show you guys was Hollister, which I was kind of surprised I found stuff because 
I used to wear Hollister when I was younger. I definitely think Hollister's made some improvements over the years and their jeans are cute and their swimsuits are cute. I'm living for it. So I got this romper from them and I wore it in an Instagram photo and I actually like undid the top here because this is kind of like, well right now it looks like it goes down super low but like it doesn't really go down that low. So I like wear this as like a wrap romper and unhook the top. If you wore it to school you wouldn't get dress coded because it does have this little thingy at the top here and then i have these jeans which are my absolute favorite jeans i was actually at like a baby shower and i was talking to this girl and i was like where'd you get your jeans because they were so cute and she said hollister so i went and i found these amazing pants they look like levi's like those like ones you find on pinterest that are super cute i've been wearing these non-stop they are my go-to jeans and i have a believe me when i say i have a lot of jeans these are my go-to's i love the isn't this called acid wash i think where it's like a light colored jean i love it love it love it the next store i will show you guys is zara which i actually haven't shopped at zara in a while but i went in there because i was shopping with my friend and I surprisingly found some cute stuff. So I kind of like that whole preppy look and I feel like Zara had a lot that was kind of more preppy. It's a lot of business clothes, but still I found some cute stuff. So I found this, I think it's called a skirt. So it looks like a dress in the front and shorts in the back, which I've been seeing so much of lately, but this is really cute. And I actually got this in an extra small, which usually I'd wear a small. So just warning you guys, if you purchase this, it does run pretty big. It's like a size too big. And then I got this like more like businessy kind of shirt. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was nice and classy. It was cute and it was cheap. All of this was on sale, so it was all pretty affordable. I have some swimsuits from ASOS actually. I thought this haul of swimsuits might be helpful to girls with like a bigger bust like me because it's really hard to find swimsuits. Believe me, I've been through it. It sucks and summertime is a pitiful endeavor because I have to find a swimsuit that actually fits my boobs and it's really difficult. I found some cute ones. However, I'm gonna give you guys a little warning. So the first one I'm showing you is this like neon top right here. So I liked it, okay? I loved it. You know, I wore it to the beach. I wore it to take photos. And then I went to a lake with my friends and oh my god, I cannot get my tits to like fit in this swimsuit. Like I looked like I had pancakes for tits and I was not super excited about that. So that's my only warning if you get one like this. If you have a little sag like I do, then this might not be for you because I think I need a little more oomph in my swimsuit tops and that just wasn't giving it to me, you know? And then for the matching bottom, I got this high-waisted swim bottom which looks super high-waisted and believe me it pretty much is i don't know if i like it that high-waisted i just kind of want it like a little bit above my belly button and i'm chilling the next one i have is this white one so i got a pink one a white one and a black one and this white one i ordered too small of a i think this is like a 30g or something so this one my boobs just splurge out of but i think it's really cute though still and um you know, if you like that look, if you like the under boob splurge look, then this might be for you. If not, then I highly recommend ordering the correct size. And then I also got these white bottoms. And then this top, this has been my go-to top. This one's super easy because it just, they fit so easily. The tatas fit easily in these. And I just got this high-waisted bottom. I usually go for high-waisted bottoms because I just think they're a little more like flattering. So the next store I'm going to show you guys is Forever 21. First thing I'm going to show you guys is this headpiece. Headpiece. Head clip. Why does that sound weird? Head clip? I don't think that's a thing. It's a clip. I found these clips and I thought they were really cute so I bought them. I still haven't worn them yet because I'm not really sure how to style them to be completely honest but I thought they were super cute. And then to match it, this skirt. Now, I love long skirts. Like I mentioned before, I'm not a huge short mini skirt person because I feel like I'm gonna flash someone and I don't know, I just feel kind of like uncomfortable in them. So I love these skirts. Sometimes I feel like I look like a teacher, but this one's really cute. I also bought this top, which I ironed before this video and it's already kind of wrinkly. I thought I could just wear this with like jean shorts and it would be like a cute little like vacation beach look very casual, very 
nice casual though. I like to work out a lot and I always wear like those yoga mom tops that go all the way down to my hips. I've been looking for more like workout crop tops lately and I found these crop tops from Forever 21 and I'm obsessed with them. You can probably buy them in like a bunch of different colors but I just have green and white and they're just these small like little crop tops and you can wear a sports bra under it and it makes your boobs look poppin and it's just a small crop top so it looks flattering if you wear like high-waisted yoga pants or something and then lastly this isn't really summery but I still bought it anyways because I was in LA and I was like you know what I'm gonna buy it because I hadn't brought any like sweatshirts for LA and it was kind of cold there when I went I bought this it's just like, you've probably seen it on someone, a lot of sorority girls have it for some reason, but it's like this studded black jacket, black denim jacket, it's so cute, it has like rips in it, and all the pockets are studded, and it was only like $40 I think. You guys are going to have to bear with me for the next door, because you're probably going to frown upon me for purchasing clothes from here, and I frown upon myself for purchasing clothes from there anyway, because I've talked about this brand a lot and I've kind of dissed them a lot but do I still have some purchases from there yes the next store is Brandy Melville whenever I go to California I always purchase something from there it's bad but anyway this top this is a pink crop top um, only thing is it doesn't make my boobs look great it makes them look ginormous and I hate that so if you have giant tatas maybe don't purchase this because it won't look as great I have that problem with most of Brandy's clothes. My boobs don't really fit into it, but I still buy it anyway. The next thing I have is this super long skirt. Like I said, I love these skirts and Brandy has a lot of them. Well, not a lot, but like a good amount. And I just thought this one was cute. And then I also have this like blue flanneled skirt. I like it. Um, I've actually seen a lot of people have this one. I feel like more comfortable in these kind of skirts because it's kind of like stuck to me, you know, it's not like a flowy skirt. So this one I have not broken yet, which is nice. I have purchased a skirt from Brandy and I literally had to cut it off of me. So this has not happened, which is nice. So don't buy Brandy Melville if you have an ass because it won't work. And then to match that, I bought this like white sweater. It's just a simple sweater. You can like unbutton it at the bottom. So it like fits better with the skirt or like anything you're wearing. I definitely recommend like unbuttoning the bottom two buttons. Kind of similar top to the sweater I just showed you. This is just like a nude crop top. I actually really like this one. Oh, it's just kind of flattering except for when the like buttons, you know, expand like that, like this one's doing. That's the only annoying part, but other than that, I like this one a lot. And then this blue crop top, um, which is actually really big. Look how big this is. This is a one-size-fits-all, so for some reason I guess they just came out with a bunch of oversized crop tops, which I feel like Brandy doesn't really do. Their sizing is like super weird, but um, yeah, so that was my little Brandy Melville haul. All very simple pieces. I, I mean, I like them. Um, I, just, I just wish some of them fit kind of better, but I mean, you get one-size-fits-all. It's kind of something that comes when you purchase from Brandy. When I was purchasing some stuff from Brandy, I also got this skirt from this boutique. It's called Stitch and Feather and it's in Huntington Beach, California. Um, I'm showing you this because you can purchase it online so I thought I'd still include it. But I have been looking for a skirt like this. It is just a champagne like cheetah skirt but I like it because it's so classy and like I just love these skirts so much so I had to purchase it. Also this is really nice quality because like I've had a cheetah skirt like this from Forever 21 and it was not anywhere near this quality because this one has like a little like slip on the inside, so it's a little bit more thick. I have a lot of different stuff to show you guys from Boohoo, from like clothes to accessories to shoes. I'm a huge fan of Boohoo because um, I was one of their student ambassadors. And I like how it's affordable. As I said earlier, I don't, I'm a college student, you know, don't have a ton of money. So Boohoo is perfect for that. Um, so the first thing I have to show you guys are these denim shorts I got. They're black. And I was kind of iffy on buying jean shorts from them because I never know how good the quality is going to be because it's so inexpensive. But I really like these actually. And they're just an easy short. They were probably pretty cheap. Probably like $13 or something. And I can wear them anywhere, you know? 
Let's just start out with denim because I have a lot of denim from them. And I got this denim jacket before I went to California. I love this jacket. I like how at the end there's like these little frills. You got some rips in it. It's long and you can also roll up the sleeves if you want. I don't know. It's just like a nice, simple, oversized jacket. I also have this Boston tee. It's an oversized t-shirt. This has been kind of hard to style because I don't really know how to wear an oversized t-shirt. But like... I don't know. I'm sure if I really played around with it, I could figure it out or I could like tie it or something. And then I bought this little cheetah blouse. Um, I just like this one. Like I pair it with surprisingly skinny jeans and I don't really wear skinny jeans that much. And it, I don't know, it's just like a flattering look with heels. This one's kind of confusing. So I bought this skirt. It is coral colored. See, as you can see, there's shorts in the back, skirt in the front. I really like this skirt. It looks really nice in the front. And then I pair it with just this simple casual top. And I think it actually looks pretty cute. Like I'll wear it with like, do you guys know those Steve Madden wedges? They're espadrilles, I think. And everyone was wearing them last year. Well, I just pair that with this. And I think it looks nice. And it takes like two seconds to put on. It looks like I spent a little more extra time on my outfit. And then I do have two swimsuits from them as well. I have this white, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you guys, this white one-piece bathing suit and then this black band goes around it, which this is actually way too big and I wasn't actually able to put it on, but I was thinking of like cutting it and then sewing it together um, because I just feel like that would be a cute look because you wrap this around your waist and then it just kind of like makes it look like a little bit more than just a white one-piece. Got another one piece from them. Um, warning you guys though, I have purchased a bikini top from them and it was like five sizes too small. So just warning you with that. I ordered a their one of their swimsuit tops in the fuller bust section and it was really small. So just warning you about that. And then this one I like, this is a tie-dye slash white one piece. And then it has another one of these little ties that you put around your waist and you uh, tie it in the back and it just looks a lot nicer that way. And then I also got these two headbands from them. This one's like a studded nude headband and then this one's just a gray and pearled headband. The first ones I got are these like espadrilled um, white, are these sandals? I don't know if espadrilles are considered sandals or not. But I don't know, I am very short. I'm like 5'3 or something. So I usually like to wear heels. This is like a casual heeled shoe almost. I also bought these white heels from Boohoo. I don't know, they're not that uncomfortable and they're pretty high heeled. So I just purchased them because they're white and you can wear them with a lot of different outfits. And then I have these white sandals. I really like these a lot. I can pretty much wear them with anything, which is a lot of the pieces I clearly have in my closet. Is I can wear them with a lot of different stuff. So I like these and then these. These are just a nude sandal. They were so cheap. All of this was so cheap so I'm just showing it to you guys. The last store is Rue 21. The first thing are these gray biker shorts. I only have one other pair of biking shorts and they're black so I got these gray ones so I can like kind of mix it up a little bit. Yeah these were only ten dollars so I just picked these up because they weren't see-through. And then I got this casual Henley tee. I like this shirt because I can either wear it out or I can wear it like around the house, which I've been wearing it around the house a lot because it makes me look like I'm dressed a little bit nicer than like, you know, a sleep shirt or something. These joggers, you guys, are so comfy. Like I have a hard time with joggers. It's either a hit or miss and these ones are so comfy. I love them. I just want to wear them 24 seven. They're so comfortable. Um, I got this pink kimono. I almost bought it in white, but then I realized pink might be better because I can like wear it with more. So I got this pink kimono. I just think it makes like your outfit look a little bit nicer. These jean shorts are amazing. I love them. They're just these white jean shorts, but I love them. I don't know why. I think it's just because they're like the perfect level of high-waisted. Like they're not too high-waisted, but they're not too hip-waisted. I really like these. Um, I think they were like $25. I bought this white belt and what I like is that it looks like my black brandy belt, but it's white. 
I'm running out of breath here from talking so much. Oh, I'm feeling a bit dizzy. I suppose that is it for this clothing haul. I hope you guys like some of these pieces. Maybe you can check some of them out for yourself. I know I like watching these clothing hauls to see what other people are buying because it kind of like inspires me to figure out like what I want to buy, you know? And especially with back to school right now, it's so hard to find what you're going to wear to school and it's kind of stressful. So I hope I can kind of like help you guys out with that. And if you're not going back to school and you're just looking for summer clothes, then get inspired figure out what you want to wear and go for it. Also, don't forget to check out Anna Luisa. Like I said, their prices start at just $39. So that's another good back to school essential is jewelry. It just makes your whole outfit tie together more and it looks nice. So definitely check them out. I will put a link in the description and in the comment section. And yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. I would say follow me on Twitter, but I'm not active at all on Twitter. So follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Do whatever you want. And that's it. Bye, guys.